Hello everybody. Hello Mike. So I'm going to make today what's maybe going to be the simplest. Hello Carol. Carol. Um, I saw a recipe the other day that is literally four ingredients. It's pasta, lemon zest, parmesan, and pasta water. So I thought, how simple could something be? It allows me to use my microplane, right? So anyway, I know how these little orchietti that I have have been have proven to take an enormously long time to cook. So I went ahead and I got some water up and boiling and salted this morning. So boom, in goes the pasta. So I hope everybody's having a good day. Um, it's yet again a gray day in New York. And uh, I hear it's going to snow tomorrow. I perhaps tore off the last two months of my calendar prematurely because I thought it was May. But evidently, it's still March in New York. So Parm uh, I had, um, as you know, I'm trying to clean out my fridge um, because I'm in the height of my uh, allergies, and I can't imagine the snarky looks I'm going to get if I sneeze in Trader Joe's. So I'm trying to wait until the month, the, the, the few days of taking Claritin every day are going to kick in, and maybe I won't be sneezing in public. So that's why I'm down to the last few pieces of citrus, and I'm making pasta rind and citrus rind pasta, I guess. So anyway, um, this thing called for a couple of tablespoons of lemon zest. So I am zesting it up. Is everybody out there feeling zesty? Aha. Now, in case you're wondering, I did wash my lemons before. Well, actually, I washed them as soon as I brought them home from the grocery store. I assume lots of you are probably washing your things that you never thought to wash before. I'm also listening to Jenga Reinhardt because, you know, there's just hardly anything that's quite as cheerful as a little Django strumming guitar. Oh, Lord, that scared the bejesus out of me. I didn't mean for that to slip off like that. Oh, I'm supposed to put a spoon over the top, aren't I? That's supposed to keep it from boiling over. Boom. Now we're good. Ah. ah, what's this? I'm going to guess that this is Sarah Vaughan. This sounds like her kind of orchestration. I'm sure I'm going to get pinged to death by the people at Facebook and YouTube for playing music that's not my own. But what I might say is it is mine. I actually own it. I am not playing it off. I'm playing it off a disc that got uploaded onto some hard drive somewhere. I have no idea where my music actually lives anymore, but there you go. Um, so maybe I will turn her down just a little bit, then maybe I won't get pinged. Bing, ding, ding. If I were to sing over top of it, would it matter? So wasn't that a lot of hard preparation, guys? Oh my goodness. I have my two tablespoons of lemon zest. I have here what looks to be a cup of grated parmesan. I have my cup here to reserve my uh, pasta water when the pasta cooks. And I'm going to get a sieve out and put it in the sink so it'll be ready to go. So I guess that's all I have to do today. Hello, Michael Martin. Hello, Leah. Hello, Kevin. Hello, Tim. Hello, everybody. So um, I'm going to sit down and write all the titles for the 40 some odd of these things that I've done. I'm not even sure how many of these I've done so far. Um, and make notes about what I cooked and all of them. You know, I've been flying by the seat of my pants every day. And mostly to show you that flying by the seat of your pants is a really great way to live. 
especially when we're in quarantine, right? Nobody needs any extra pressure right now. So there's that. My best friend from college texted this morning, he said, not to be terribly ghoulish, but what's the over under on COVID? So we've been making, a group of us from college have been making the rounds and trying to figure out what we think the numbers are gonna be and setting dates. And yes, that is a little ghoulish, but it's maybe something that's not being done enough at the upper levels of government. So anyway, guys, I'm drinking a little uh, of le leftover from last night, Bali La Pierre, Cremont. Let's just make sure I'm drinking what I think I'm drinking. I am, I'm drinking Bali La Pierre, Cremont Bourgogne. This is good stuff. It is distributed by our friends at, I used to know this for sure, but now I'm blind and I can't really see so just look at this while I try to see, as God is my witness. Estate bottled, well, I don't know anymore. So there you go, drink some Valley up here. We've had that time to look at that. So let's see, I have no idea how long this has been in here, but let's take, give it a stir. It is starting to have that look of pasta that's been in water, but that's about it. Do you think I can keep that there? I think that'll stay there. So what's everybody doing today? What are you doing? What's the weather like where you are? Do you have any suggestions or things that you would like to see me cook? I know Sale asked for artichokes yesterday. Um, and I'm gonna see what I can do about the artichokes. Mm. So anyway, um, I'm very interested to see how this works out. I'm dying to salt the lemon rind, but it doesn't tell me to do that. Um, I am very excited. It's been a really crazy busy week. It's like in these last two weeks that, except for the fact that I'm not going outside and I haven't seen my boyfriend in seven weeks, like life has gone back to normal in that I seem to have plenty to do, more than I actually can accomplish. And I'm looking forward to having nothing on this weekend so that I can get caught up. So um, that sounds like normal life to me. Doesn't it sound like normal life to you? So I'm so dying to see how this works out. Um, it makes me kind of think the way that we're gonna do this is once the pasta is actually cooked, um, or close to cooked, is we're gonna drain that, reserve part of the pasta water, uh, drain the rest, and then put all of this in together and let it cook down um, together. I don't even remember this calling for a crack of pepper, which I think is curious, but I assume with all the uh, Parmesan that that's gonna lend an awful lot of salt so it's probably a good idea to err on the side of caution but I did put the crushed red pepper right here just in case because I thought that would be a good idea to have handy so let's see how my little pasta babies are doing how are my Ooh, that's not a good thing here we go they are still cooking and they are still hard they're the funniest little pastas that I have ever bought. I'm, you know, sometimes things will cook, seem like they cook quicker than you can imagine. And these little things just go on and on and on. Hello, Sale. Um, so, I don't know, what all have I been doing? I'm thinking that it's probably time to change out the pillow covers. That's one of my uh, decorating tips. Um, I live in, as mo me most or all or many of you know by now, that I live basically in a suite. I have a big room with a lot of little rooms warrened, rabbit warrened around it. And so my bed, my living room, my everything is in one big room. And one of my best tips is change out your throw pillows as often as you can afford to. Buy high quality material, have them made into good uh, uh, covers for your for pillows for your bed, pillows for your, for your sofas, and that completely changes the feel of your house just in you know, like 20 minutes. So at least my house can be changed in 20 minutes. Those little kinds of things that freshen up and make things seasonal. I always look forward to changing them out to darker florals in the fall because that means that Christmas is coming and then bringing out the pastels in the spring and bright colors in the summer. It's exciting, I love to do it. I know, I, I, you're thinking, my goodness, she entertains easily, right? But I have been alone for a long time. This is day like 64 or 65 in isolation for me. I can literally name the people I know who I've seen their eyes. 
Um, <laughs> and I'm like, turn this up even a little more. Maybe if it boils harder, does water get hotter? I don't think so. Hello, Ramona, how are you? I was on with uh, Lisa, Lisa Gale last night and she was sharing pictures of your beautiful daughter with the girls on the call. Just so you know what's going on after hours. Among the chicken bristle girls. Mm. And now I've overboiled it. I can't have it both ways, can I? All right, is this too hot to touch? It is too hot to touch. My goodness. That should fix it. Now we're golden. And so I'm just waiting for my pasta to cook and I'm making this little three ingredient pasta. Pasta, lemon zest, and Parmesan and a little bit of the pasta water in reserve. We're waiting for the pasta to cook just a little bit more so that it's not too toothsome because these guys really have proven hard to cook in the last, in this one little bag. Um, I think that they called for maybe eight minutes, but I find that they really take 12 to truly cook to even a place where, you know, you're not picking pasta out of your teeth. But let me see what we got going here. Okay, are they moving yet? Golly gee, I'm not playing with a full deck today, I don't think. Okay, that is still not even, that's still really firm, won't even smush flat. Okay, here we go. Perfect. Go back on, baby. So, it's, you know, watch pot, they say. Hello, Kathy. So, and yes, happy Friday. I'm so happy that it's Friday. I'm really looking forward to the weekends. I always do, and probably for a reason that most of you don't think, but I like not having to move wine around on a Friday <laughs> or on the weekends. And so, unless I have a wine event, I really don't have to move myself even around on the weekends. So that's a really great part portion of the day, and it just makes me realize that I forgot to order wine this uh, this morning, and I had to have it done before noon. So there you go. Check one for Monday. And how are we doing here? Let's see. It still wants to cook over a little bit, and I'm just letting it sit. Maybe another minute or two. Does anybody know what time it is out there? Let's see if I can find out the time. See, yeah, this has already been in for close to 12 minutes, and it's not even close to being done for me. So not even close enough here to move it and cook it down a little bit into the into the next water. So uh, I, I these are really odd little ears, if I can say so, right? Because we know orchiette means little ear in Italian. Mm. So yes, I'm just ready for a calm afternoon of working on one of those nose to the grindstone kind of projects. So I am looking forward to that. Come on, work with me, work with me. Don't boil over, the wooden spoon is supposed to help. Okay. I may be, I may be losing my patience with the boiling over of the water. Let's see, this still needs to cook a little. So I'm gonna turn it down then so that it won't boil over and create pressure and maybe it will cook. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to make things do what they won't do. It's one of the things in life, isn't it? I feel like I read something interesting in the news this morning, but I jumped out of bed and started, started uh, even with even with it on low, it still wants to cut, it still wants to boil over. What a pain in the tuchus. So anyway, guys, I feel like I read something interesting in the news this morning or saw something interesting on the news this morning. Oh, yes, I did. I saw it yesterday. So my governor has extended our um, rent and uh, electric and home utilities. That's what I'm trying, word I'm trying to find. Our utility protections through the end of August. Um, so no one can, no eviction proceedings can be undertaken, all that. That says to me that we're going to be in here all, all summer, guys. And I had said July 4th all along. We may have to call it September. It may be, we may now start being lucky if we get to have derby parties even in September. I do think that they will start doing some sporting events and playing them um, just to 
get the season going along just to because frankly the athletes can't stop can't stop working out they've got to start moving again or they're gonna literally not be able to do their jobs anymore there's just a lot of weird things to think about um, that may or may not happen in the next few weeks or months but I am praying that this May snowstorm is going to herald a cool summer because boy it will suck to be inside stuck inside in the um, air conditioning all summer that would be a yuck to me okay this is maybe but look it's still in the middle it's still cooked through this is the weirdest little batch of pasta I've ever had in my life so if any of you are still out there watching me do this I so am so grateful because what a nightmare this is, is. I should have started it before and then I thought oh no oh no not yet Yes, I could have started it 10 minutes before, and we still would have had all the same fun today. Um, so I've realized that I need more exercise than I'm getting, so I've got to figure that out this weekend. I'm not sure about that. Um, maybe more stair climbing, maybe more yoga, maybe more something. But anyway, I've got to figure that out because if we're going to be in here till fall, whew, I've got to move more. My poor little niece, she's eight got on the, I turned on her Zoom for our daily class the other day, um, and she was on the treadmill, and I thought, oh, this is a kid who's got some energy to burn if she's at eight years old taking class on the treadmill. So, <laughs> poor little thing, right? Um, so this is a cup, and that's probably gonna be just about the right amount of water, and I'm gonna start cooking this anyway, because Lord have mercy, we'll be here all day long. If I don't, what have I done? Look how good I am hanging things up. So, I'm going to put my little measuring cup down here in my sink. Hello, everybody. And I'm going to pour the All right, now I have a cup of water and just a little bit more pour off. Ah. Uh, George Michael. We should have known that the world was going to go to hell in a handbasket when we lost George Michael, Michael Jackson, and Prince all at like 53 years old, right? So anyway, guys, so now I put the pasta water back in. I'm going to put my lemon zest in. And then we're just supposed to let this come back up. So I'm going to bring this back up to super high heat. There we go. Perfect. And when this starts boiling again, I'm just going to sit still and let that cook until it cooks down. It starts to feel like it's cooking down a little bit because I may feel like I've got a little more water than this. I'm trying to remember proportions from the, the recipe. I don't remember where I saw anymore. So. Um, but I do think that this cheese will get all super melty and delicious and this could probably still cook another couple of minutes because this crazy orchietti is still hard after 12 minutes. Pardon me. <laughs> and nice. The lemon smells great. Of course, you know me, I have such a hard time following recipes. I'm already thinking, why don't I get put a spoonful of roasted garlic in there? That would be really good. I did have the basil oil out earlier because I thought I would drizzle some basil oil on it to finish, which I'm gonna do anyway. But I thought that would sort of break the focus of the three <laughs> ingredient thing if I keep start pulling out garnishes for it. Oh, now this is nice. This looks great. This is cooking down really fast. I like it. The texture of my water seems to be changing. I like that. And now I'm getting bubbles all the way to the center. I wish I could bring you over here with me. Come on guys, come see me. I'm working on a multi-camera system here for them in the next few weeks. Somebody asked me last night if I was gonna keep doing this even if we came out. And I said, well, I guess I kind of have to, don't I? It seems like it's my new job. I'll just have to start doing it a little better than I've done it before. 
and that super fine uh, uh, parm just disappeared in here. And so I'm just gonna let this cook down for a while. I can see that this is gonna be amazing. The lemon and the pasta, uh, is the lemon and the parm is gonna cook down in the water and get really thick. And it's just gonna cling on these little ears. That's gonna be beautiful. I don't know how long, if you guys have the patience to stand to wait here for me, but I'm gonna try to get it done. <laughs> so nice. Oh, it's beautiful, guys. Now let's see what we're talking about with salt and pepper levels. Mm. Oh man. Oh, that's great. That's great. Oh, that's great. I totally can use a crack of pepper. And it can use a little crack, a little bit of red pepper, I think. Because you know I like things spicy. And that'll just be pretty in there. A few little flecks here and there. And then, let's see, what else can we do? Oh, this is so nice. This is gonna be beautiful. But this is, I can tell guys, this is one of those things that when you're at this stage, you need to watch it because it's gonna tighten up and it's gonna tighten up fast is my prediction. I could be wrong, but I've been wrong before. That's the whole point of this show, isn't it? You can do this even if you are wrong. So I'm gonna take my high heat and I'm gonna turn it down much lower so that this is simmering. Oh man, I don't even like pasta and I think this is gonna be great. So I can totally see how this would be, could be a really beautiful knock em dead dish. So you do this Parmesan lemon pasta and then maybe you top it with a chiffonade fresh basil and maybe some um, corn scorched on the grill and off the cob and sprinkled on top of this. Showstopper dish, absolutely showstopper dish. In the winter, I bet you you could just throw some uh, roasted butternut squash on top of this. Um, yeah, this is a great little thing. I'm so thrilled. Sometimes things stick in my head and I wonder what it is, why they've, it's stuck in my head. Well, now I get it. I understand why this one's stuck in my head because this is gonna be one of those things that is endlessly reusable. You can put all kinds of stuff together for it. So, um, quinoa crust for pizza, that sounds great. Daphne, thank you so much, I appreciate that. So Daphne is the godmother of my friend from college who I told you we were doing the over under on COVID deaths this morning. So, but I did say that we admitted Daphne that it is, that we knew that we were being a little gruesome just by doing it. So, look how this cheese is starting to catch up on my, on my spatula. So I just want this to thicken up ever so slightly more. And soon we're gonna need a bowl to put it in. So let's see. Um, I've got my pretty, look, artichokes for sale. So, and my friend Kelly posted a picture the other day of herself doing something in her kitchen and she was literally wearing the uh, apron that goes with this pattern of uh, Williams-Sonoma China. All right, this is so close, so close. I just want this to be a little, little, little thicker. It's just patience, right? Patience and no cornstarch. That's the theme of the day. <laughs> patience and no cornstarch. All right, I should probably drink my water. That'll help me forget. Mm. That I'm waiting patiently, waiting patiently for this. I saw the cutest thing the other day. I just saw my cheese melting down the side of my pot, little mugs, the little cutout where you can put a votive candle so you can have individual a, a cheese bread dippers. Say the word for me, y'all can do it for me, but they were so cute and I thought everybody should do that. You know, now in this new world, I guess there's no more sticking into, sticking into pots. What did I see that Soup plantation is closing for good because there's no more shared food economy, no more salad bars, none of that kind of stuff. 
So, yeah. And are we close? Are we there? Are we almost there? We are so close to almost there. I just want you... I'm going to want to let this cook probably another minute or two. But it's so nice that I want to make sure everybody gets to see a little bit of it. But you see, it's just... See, my I probably put too much water in. So, for my... What I'm doing here, but just... Easy, simple, pretty, and then I'm going to put a little bit. Do I have something here? You right. I we we can't talk about the basil problem in my house right now, but we can talk about the fact that just a little drizzle of basil oil would be really pretty on that, and then maybe a little bit more, uh, maybe a little bit of lemon zest on top of it too. Just anything to dress it up a little bit. Make it a little prettier, because you know, that's kind of my thing. I think we should try to make our food a little prettier since it's the only thing we've got to be excited about these days. And let's see if even these little guys, I bet you they're not even completely soft. Oh no, just barely al dente. How many minutes have I been cooking this? 26 minutes. These little guys have been in here for 25 minutes and they're just now getting to be to where they need to be. So, craziest little bits of pasta I have ever, ever, ever had. Okay. Um, we're so close, I think. Yum, yum. Jeez. I'm totally getting dinged for playing this, no doubt. Okay. Okay. Yeah, now it's really, we're so close, guys. It's no longer, nothing is watery about it. It's thick. So, yeah, if you do this, I did a cup of pasta and a cup of water because I felt like I remembered it was a cup and a half of water, and that seemed like too much to me. So, um, with this, I probably would have done more like a half a cup or three quarters of a cup of the water to help it cook down. Um, you know, we're all... We're all just experimenting here, right? So this is so close, so close. There's nothing I can do. Yes, indeed. Here we go. Ten. I think, yeah. Let's see. Look how pretty that is. Just a pretty little thing of brings. And then I'm gonna take this pretty green and give it a drizzle around, cause that's gonna dress that up a lot. I'm gonna take this little guy and I'm gonna do a little bit more zest around just to get a little bright in there. It's funny, my zest is strangely green on this side. Let's try this one. Okay. Yeah, this needs a little chiffon out of basil to make it super pretty, but isn't that lovely? And can't you see? It's all tightened up. There's no limit to what you could kind of add to this. Roasted peppers, I'm sure, would be great on this. I could take my jar of sun-dried tomatoes and chew them up. Anything would be great on this. So let's see, how did it turn out? Oh, Parmesan yep, wonderfulness. Oh, finish that off. Guys, that's great. So, how easy was that? The most expensive thing in all of this after the Parmesan was the electricity or the gas. So guys, thank you once again for a wonderful day in quarantine. You are so wonderful to show up for me. You are so wonderful to listen to me. For, you watched water boil today so you guys have all gone above and beyond you have done your kindness for another today so i thank you for that so go out and if there's any sunshine left where you live before the polar vortex comes and brings us summer snow get out expand your lungs do some jumping jacks do something to make the blood flow in your body the blood flow in your brain so you're taking care of you today. All right, guys, I love you all. I love you, love you, love you. 
Thank you for giving me a purpose in my life in quarantine. Ciao, guys.